This is a demo for the MIDI adapter that I've created. I've plugged this MIDI adapter here into this MIDI keyboard. It's not actually plugged into a computer over here, but I do have some lights mounted so I can help explain how it works and, and show you a pretty cool demo here. So the MIDI keyboard sends the MIDI data to the adapter and then the app adapter decodes this into whatever currently pressed note is on the keyboard. So if I press a note here, you'll see one of the lights lights up. And if I press this note, you can see this light lights up, or this one. And those lights correspond to, in binary, the MIDI note number of the note that I'm holding down. So if you watch here, as I'm going up the scale, you'll see that I'm counting in binary. That's exactly how MIDI works. And in this case, what I'm doing is sending this out as parallel port data. And so the computer simply has to look at the MIDI status here and go, okay, this is the note that's pressed down, so that's the note that I have to produce sound for. Additionally, I've got a modulation wheel, and you'll see when I turn it on and off, the light will light up or turn off based on what I'm doing with the modulation wheel. And so, because I've designed this in this way, it's possible to port this to systems where the computer and the adapter can't have a back and forth. So, in particular, vintage video game systems can be adapted to work with this in the framework of a monophonic synthesizer. So I have also taken the software to be a monophonic synthesizer and written it for the Commodore PET and it works for this adapter. But part of this Kickstarter will be to port that software along with this hardware to all the other systems that I talk about on my Kickstarter page. So the VIG-20, the Commodore 64, as well as the BBC Micro and the Nintendo Entertainment System. And so this is a quick demo just to show you how this particular adapter works and to show you that in fact this prototype does work. And you'll see in the next clip a demonstration of me using a Commodore PET that has this plugged in. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.